Welcome to our review on decay and recycling. So first thing we need to remember then is that elements are going to be passing between the living and non-living world in cycles. So what we actually find is that living things will take up some of these elements and then when they die they're going to decay and those will then be returned to the non-living world before being taken up again. There are two main groups of microbe involved in decay and you should remember these for your exam which are bacteria and fungi. Now what we as humans can actually do is we can use these microbes to help break down our waste. So if we think about the idea of a compost bin where we've got all our grass cuttings and leaves from the garden then if we put them in a compost bin and leave them they will break down and eventually form this compost which we can add to our gardens and the reason it does so is because of the bacteria and the fungi. We can also use bacteria in sewage works to digest the organic waste in these large tanks which then makes it nice and safe so it can then be discharged into our natural waterways without causing problems. What we'll find is we can increase the rate at which decay happens if we have a warmer temperature and the reason behind that is the microbes will be respiring, growing and reproducing faster. If we've got more oxygen available then we'll see faster decay because the microbes can respire, grow and reproduce faster. And finally if our conditions are moist then those same microbes are going to be growing faster and reproducing more. What we find is we've got these two main groups of decay organism. The first ones are called detritivores. Now these are things like wood lice and earthworms and what they actually do is that they eat small parts of dead material which when it's inside their body will be digested and then they're going to release it as waste. And as a result of this we increase the surface area. Now the second type of organism are the decomposers which are our bacteria and fungi and they chemically break down that dead material to release ammonium compounds back into the soil. And the good news is those detritivores increase the surface area for the decomposers to then work on. So they work together to break down all of this waste material. We have this term called a saprophyte. Now most decomposers are these saprophytes and the way that they're actually going to be feeding is slightly different. What they do is they release enzymes onto the dead animal or plant and those enzymes will digest that dead material in a process called extracellular digestion. That just means digestion happening outside of cells. Once those chemicals have then been digested, that decomposer will absorb those chemicals and that's what we mean by saprotrophic feeding is just using these enzymes to secrete onto the dead material and then absorbing the digested materials that result from that.